So Stats.com just drops a bombshell. NVIDIA Illumina acquisition. This is huge if true. Now, I have no idea if this is true or not, but I really wish it is, and here's why. So really fast, just some background about all the people involved. So, so semi-analysis, like semiconductors, analysis of semiconductors, talk a lot about stuff in the AI and AI hardware, GPU, semiconductor space, etc. Every once in a while, they just come out and drop something that makes big waves. Here's Sam Altman, the Sam Altman, commenting on the semi-analysis guys. Basically, it seems like Google got them to kind of brag on their behalf on how much, you know, GPU, how much compute they have. So yeah, here's Sam Altman. Here's Elon Musk himself commenting on this thing. If you've heard people throwing around that term, GPU rich, GPU poor, semi-analysis is kind of the one that triggered that whole thing to happen. So today they dropped this, and if it was anybody else, I'd just ignore it as clickbait slash fake news, whatever you want to call it. With these guys, they, they tend to be right quite often, so I'll give them the benefit of the doubt. Plus, now that I hear it, it makes a lot of sense. So, of course, we know NVIDIA. One of the most like insane growth trajectories of all time powers most of the AI research happening right now. Kind of a monopoly in the space. Now, most people think of NVIDIA as just the hardware, right? The chips, the graphics card, GPUs, etc. But they're a lot more than that. They're getting into architecture, engineering, automotive, cybersecurity, energy, financial services, healthcare, and life sciences. That's the important one. They're doing game, game development. They're helping people with manufacturing, for example, simulating entire factories to make sure that they're safe and efficient. All of it simulated with these GPUs inside, you know, like a simulated game type of environment, robotics, and tons and tons of other stuff. They're putting out great papers in AI research. If you've heard of Voyager AI, for example, that's part of NVIDIA. The researchers that are working on that project are part of NVIDIA. But specifically, let's take a look at healthcare and life sciences because the stuff that they're doing is very interesting. So you might be aware of Google DeepMind solving a 50-year-old problem in the protein folding space. We've had a lot of problems for a long time trying to predict how various proteins fold. And so DeepMind used AI to predict how different proteins fold, what shape they take. And this created a pretty massive breakthrough in terms of our ability to understand certain diseases, drug discovery, tons of other stuff. Now, before to discover the shapes of these proteins, the three-dimensional structure of protein is X-ray crystallography. And by the way, that's the thing that this guy was supposedly really good at. The whole thing about Walter White from Breaking Bad starting gray matter, that's the thing that he was a genius at, X-ray crystallography. That's not related to anything here, but just thought I'd mention it. And so NVIDIA is kind of at the intersection of AI and a lot of this biotech stuff. So where does AI and accelerated computing, where does that come in? It's able to improve drug discovery, the ability to model millions of molecules and screen hundreds of potential drugs simultaneously. So instead of testing every sing single variation of the drug or how it's formulated, we can simulate that virtually with AI. Genomics is sort of like the study of our DNA and how to use that to treat diseases, etc. So here they say, you know, cancer genomic studies, there's a rare diseases and precision medicine. But if you think about it, the potential is much bigger than that because genomics is kind of like the, literally the code of life. Everything about us, how we're made, all the functions of any living organism is encoded in the DNA. Now, taking the actual strands of DNA and converting it to that code, to that data, to that text, whatever you want to call it, to a readable format, that's called genomic sequencing. The cost of genomic sequencing is, is dropping rapidly, faster than Moore's law. So faster than we're improving computers, the cost to sequence a human genome is dropping even faster than that. Who is the global leader in genomic sequencing? Lumina. Here's the slide that kind of is going to shine a lot of light on why this is important. So for, this is from NVIDIA Investors Day 2022. Here's the rapid drop in the cost per genome. Here is, you know, as we're sequencing the data, this is how much data we're getting. So this is sort of the exabytes of genomic data, of genome data that we have available. It's skyrocketing as we get, as it gets cheaper, better, faster, as we get more tools and more machines to do that. The amount of data is skyrocketing. Take a listen. Our ability to sequence DNA has far outpaced our ability to decipher the information it contains. So genomic data science will be a vibrant field of research for many years to come. So this is important. We have a insane gargantuan amount of data, data about the very essence of, of life and disease and longevity and just everything, the code of life. We have all the data. One problem, we have no clue what it means. The human brain, we can't just process all that data. Even if you had Excel spreadsheets available to you, you still couldn't process it. 
But guess what's really good at processing large amounts of data? What's really good at taking huge, vast amounts of data and reducing it to easy to understand insights and models and, and useful, actionable stuff that we can use, right? That's AI. AI can do that. Specifically, these neural nets that we've been seeing emerging in places like DeepMind and OpenAI. This is the thing that Microsoft is pouring tons of money into. This is what NVIDIA is pouring tons of money into, obviously. Now, I did a video a while back about Illumina when they announced the AI software to predict disease causing genetic mutations in patients. So it's important to understand that this isn't like science fiction. We do have that, right? So they launched their Primate AI 3D, utilizes deep neural network architecture similar to ChatGPT and AlphaFold. So AlphaFold is that protein folding thing from DeepMind. GPT, you know what ChatGPT is but it's trained on genome sequences rather than human language. So we're already beginning to see some useful information come out of this. We're able to see actual real life applications. The results is a deep neural network that has been shown to identify disease causing variants with superior accuracy in all six clinical cohorts that were tested. So Illumina has this massive amounts of data on the human genome. And now we have this tool, AI neural nets, that is able to kind of figure out what's happening there. But the problem is that it's so hyped up, it's so hotly contested that a lot of the best AI ta talent, they're not in the biotech space, right? We know where they are. They're at DeepMind, they're at Google, they're at OpenAI, they're at NVIDIA. Those big tech companies just, just kind of sucked all the AI talent out of everywhere. You know, I think, I think I read somewhere that the average salary for people that are working on AI at OpenAI is like a million dollars a year. That's how much they're getting paid to, to, to work on that. So they're not going to go and obviously work somewhere else for less, at least not the majority of people. So as exciting as this is, you know, I've, you know, I was kind of hoping that maybe we'd see some more results, more research, more stuff happening faster. But Illumina has been struggling. It's down 70, almost 75% off the highs. And now there's a lot of different reasons for that. They've purchased Grail, which is a company that they started. They sold it to somebody else for a little bit, and then they bought it back for a whole lot more. No one knows why. EU US told them don't buy it because then we'll look at you as a monopoly. They bought it anyways. Carl Icahn, the corporate raider, came in and started trying to take over the board of Illumina with his people. The whole thing was a mess. But one of the things that people were talking about is the fact that since Illumina is such a valuable company, such a massive presence in the genome sequencing market, the fact that it dropped so much in value makes it a very attractive acquisition target. Now, people assumed the somebody that would acquire this would be another biotech giant. But the fact that NVIDIA, maybe potentially, if this is to be believed, if they're looking to potentially acquire Illumina, that makes a lot of sense. So here's the sequencer market share by revenue. Here are all the players in the market. So notice Illumina is like a monopoly. I mean, they own 90% of the market. Now that's been changing more and more people have been coming into that area to try to compete with them, including Peter Thiel, who launched Ultima Genomics. But it's hard. They have a large presence. Their machinery is everywhere. They have a bit of a network effect. So they're sort of like the king of the hill right now. And so what semi-analysis is saying is that Illumina is the missing puzzle piece to their sort of the thing that they're building with AI. So genomics is a modality that is delivering great value to healthcare as well as research and drug discovery. It is the largest data generator in healthcare and growing rapidly. We're witnessing the continued decline in costs, enabling large-scale genomic programs to transpire. However, we need to be sensitive to the fact that a lot of times when you advertise the cost of sequencing, it is just the cost of sequencing and not the downstream analysis which is ultimately the insights that we need to care for our patients and to deliver insights in drug discovery. With more sequencing platforms and modalities entering the market, we are going to be pushing these 40 exabytes of genomic data out there into the world. That's NVIDIA at the JP Morgan Healthcare Conference. So I have no way of telling how much of this is true or not. As soon as I heard the headline, it, it did really sort of intuitively made a lot of sense. At the very least, in the sense that NVIDIA would really, really, really benefit from having Illumina as part of its kind of like umbrella. That part is a no brainer. It's like, it's like peanut butter and jelly. It goes together flawlessly. But obviously there are other big questions that have to be answered. Illumina right now has a market cap of about 21 billion. This is NVIDIA's cash on hand. As you can see here, it, so about five years ago or so, it was about 5 billion, then it went up to 21 billion basically the uh, Illumina's market cap right now. So market cap is the total outstanding shares that the company has times the price of the share. So basically how much the whole company is worth, you can say on the market. So right now I think Nvidia is sitting at about 15 billion. Now, 
Now, obviously, of course, NVIDIA is not going to take the entire cash on hand and just buy a company with it. Obviously, there's going to be some structured deal. But my point is, it, it, it doesn't seem that far-fetched. His market cap is $1 trillion. So Illumina is 2% of NVIDIA? I hope I'm doing my math right there. I think so. So I think I, I believe that NVIDIA is $1 trillion, Illumina is $20 billion. I believe that's 2%. So can NVIDIA purchase a company that's that's 2% the size of itself? It seems like it would be possible. I'm not an M&A guy, so I have no clue, but it just seems like it could be reasonable. So if this does indeed happen, it does seem like it would be a pretty big step forward in this genomic space. I think it would unlock a lot of healthcare and specialized healthcare, personal healthcare. Like the drugs that you'd be taking wouldn't be ones that are sort of made for the majority of people, right? The average person, whatever that means. It would be tailored to you based on your specific DNA signature. We're beginning to see that already in some of the supplement companies, like Thorne is pretty good about providing certain ingredients that are tweaked a little bit if you have certain genetic mutations that affect your methylation. So Thorne is trying to do some more DNA stuff, DNA cartridges to try to see if maybe you need some specific vitamins or whatever. And, and there's some science behind it, but we have still very little visibility into the massive amounts of genomic data that we already have. We have that data, we just don't know what the heck it means or how to make it actionable. AI seems to be the solution to make that data actionable. The company that makes all of that data is Illumina. The company that is driving a lot of this AI technology forward and the ability to create these models, like the very hardware that, that, that is used to power these models, that's, that's NVIDIA. Combining those two together seems to make a lot of sense. Now, obviously, that's basically taking two monopolies and one monopoly buying another monopoly. So certainly there's going to be some pushback. Certainly it seems like there's going to be some issues there. But this is one area that I'm keeping a close eye on because I think that once we figure out this whole DNA plus AI thing, we're going to see some pretty crazy stuff happen. One thing that's really interesting is this idea of negligible senescence. So senescence is sort of the aging. It's getting older, sort of getting weaker, more frailer, and just kind of die, right? Negligible means it's so slow that it's barely noticeable, right? So some creatures have negligible senescence. They barely age. Unless they get hit by a bus or something, they're not going to die. Or at least it'll take a very long time. That might have a lot to do with our telomeres, basically. Like if you think of shoelaces, you know how they have those little caps on the ends? Those plastic caps at the end of shoelaces, and once those get frail, the whole thing comes apart. You know, like telomeres. Would learning more about our DNA with the assistance of AI, would that help us slow down aging? Would that help us fix a lot of the diseases? I have no idea, honestly, but it's very exciting. Let me know what you think. Do you think NVIDIA is going to come in and try to acquire Illumina? Are you against it? Do you think that these two monopolies of their own sort of respective fields should not merge? Would that create too much of a concentration of power? And check out Semi-Analysis. They're dropping some knowledge bombs, and I, I appreciate what they're doing for the community. I'll put a link to their uh, newsletter. I'm not affiliated with them in any way. I'm just commenting on kind of some of the stuff that they put out. But probably subscribing to their newsletter would not be a bad idea. My name is Wes Roth. Thank you for watching.